Well, about Jeff and about the adventure we had, but photographs and if you've read some of the biomaterial uh, on the wall and maybe had a glance at uh, the photographs in, in this magazine, um, Jeff is one of those quintessential unique individuals. Uh, he is a rugged mountaineer. He's uh, a resolute adventurer. Uh, he does have this phenomenal uh, obsession with tea, uh, some of which I like. Um, uh, the part where we were, uh, the butter uh, tea part was a little bit of a challenge uh, once in a while. Um, and um, something that doesn't often get said about Jeff is uh, he's also uh, a wonderful human being and a very human, um, well, a poet, really, is what he is. Jeff is a poet. And uh, that demonstrates itself in his behavior. Uh, the poetry of Jeff comes out in how he approaches adventure. Uh, the poetry comes out in how he uh, writes his journal entries, which he allowed me to take a few peeks at. And I think um, it comes out in his images as well, uh, Jeff the poet. Um, what we did was uh, 300 kilometers, a bit more of that than that, um, on, on foot uh, uh, with our packs and with uh, some Tibetan, a uh, couple of Tibetan guides. Um, the destination uh, was Kawakarpo, and Kawakarpo is probably the most beautiful peak I've seen. So if, if some of you are familiar with the Canadian West, there's Mount Assiniboine or or maybe uh, Europe, there's the Matterhorn. Uh, those are postcard peaks. Um, but Calicarpo is that and much, much more. It is such a beautiful, beautiful peak. Um, and unclimbed. Uh, Calicarpo is one of the eight sacred uh, peaks for East Tibetan Buddhism. Um, so you say eight, well, no, seven others, let's figure what that. Um, <laughs> but uh, Kalakarpo is not just a sacred peak. It is, uh, in Eastern Tibetan Buddhism, a living god. And that's one of the reasons that it has not been, been climbed. 